damage error. This is the moment I say, there's no damage. Winners, baby. Winners, find fabulous for less. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, please do. Or at the very least, give me a like so that next time you'll be able to find me and if you don't find this particular video informative or exciting or entertaining come back again so the only way that you could find me is if you give me a like or if you subscribe so i'll appreciate if you do one or the other so today i realized that as i got dressed I realized that I have this shoe in my closet and the shoe in question is this but before we talk about it and my outfit of today because I, I'm really loving it as you guys know on this channel sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability so I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. That's how we do it on here, guys. So I really hope that if you are watching me for the first time, please subscribe. So yes, as I've mentioned, I got dressed up and I'm looking for a shoe. Oftentimes, I center my shoe around my outfit. Look, I wore this in my country, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, a few months ago, before Hurricane Beryl hit it, by the way. I'm not sure if you're aware, but my people are really suffering because Hurricane gave it a really good beating. I, I hope that looking at the destruction of my country, you could see why I'm so passionate about addressing climate issues it's really dear to my heart so i try to do my very best to be as imperfectly sustainable as i could because that way it saves lives like literally addressing climate change doing your part even if it's to just buy less that really makes a difference so anyway back to these shoes so this shoe is centered around my outfit because it's really vibing with the pants right so i bought this shoe from someone who bought it from winners guys from winners dio i had no idea that winners sell Dior and you could see from the tag and I decided now to turn the shoe upside down because I was questioning the seller she loves it but it couldn't fit her because it's kind of small so I questioned her I'm like really from winners and yes it has the winners tag I could scarcely remove it so it's really indicative of how winners actually stick those stickers on. You, you get a hell of a time removing them. So she told me that she's not sure if it's authentic, but that's where she got it. And so I decided to purchase it because for me, okay, you get it at Winners. I used to be a Winners shopaholic like ages ago. Why do you think I could tell you certain things? Why do you think I could tell you that? You have to be at peace with yourself to be always able to look within and generate whatever happiness that you could find. This shoe from Winners, for me, was like a trigger because winners always used to bring me temporary happiness so i said okay i'll buy it and i love it i love the shoe it looks like the authentic dior shoe 
but are they not supposed to have like some sort of a code somewhere hmm maybe it has a code that I just can't see anyway oh there's something there but you see I would need my glasses no it's not a code I honestly don't see any code in it none but it is proudly claiming to be Christian Dior I don't have the authentic ones just in case this one is not so I don't know but I love it I love the look and I love the feel it doesn't feel too cheap and I mean who is to say what too cheap is like because with the scarcity of materials these days and the fact that we all know materials are not infinite and they are using whatever they could many brands are using the cheapest materials they could find and so i don't know because it's supposed to be fabric mainly fabric and i'm digging it i love it it's really vibing with my pants so the question is does winners sell Uh, dupes do they sell dupes I thought they always sell the authentic things because I've seen like Manolo Blanix there before I've seen many other brands like contemporary brands like Ralph Lauren Tommy Hilfiger yeah those contemporary brands so I know they have authentic things I've even bought my one of my favorite totes of all time uh, this is my Ralph Lauren work tote it's a bit dusty because I've been wearing this they are approximately the same size and you guys know I love green this is my Moro Govana bag made by a homeless artisan so I love that and it's Togo leather so I love that I got quality without the price point so I love that anyway I'm sorry for all those who are feeling upset but anyway I'll get to that you know in a next video but yeah winners and I've seen other higher because there's a section with high-end luxury brand items as well like why yourself and I also think they have like Gucci and Celine. So I wouldn't be surprised that they have Dio. But I don't know if it's authentic, guys. I don't know. But I'm loving it. It's really cool. So I don't know. This is my outfit for today. And I'm going to rock it. And my bag of choice would be this because I am loving this bag and this brings me to today's video guys so one of the reasons why I often advocate buying for your lifestyle it's because I know that you would get your cost per wear for the items that you buy instead of them sitting on the shelf this piece fits into my lifestyle pretty well i wear this when so it's either this one or this one which is also my work bag or this one and i'm out the door so i know i could get my cost per wear